So, Guru Mukha Padma Vakya, we are continuing with this wonderful, wonderful song of Srila Naratam Das Thakur. The beloved disciple, only disciple of Lokana Goswami. Guru Mukha Padma Vakya. It's very interesting with different translations. I compared a little bit the translation of this uh, Shri Shri Prima Bhakti Chandrika and of our songbook, Gaudiya Giti Guchan songbook. And here it says the words that emanate from Guru's lotus mouth give the heart sufficient strength to attain Krishna. Do not covet anything else. And here it says the words of, my, of the Guru's lotus mouth I am embracing in my heart. And nothing else I will embrace. And I like that this uh, translation says that the words give the strength to attain Krishna. Because we need strength. We need always new one-pointed decision. And first of all, yeah, we have to focus, or we did always focus it on Krishna. And then later, when the relationship to Shiguru becomes more intimate and more very fixed, then Shiguru will reveal to the loving disciple, to the eager disciple, their bhajan, their internal moods. Means, who are they in their relationship? Oh, they are a dasi of Shimadhi Radhika. Oh. But first of all, we need the strength to sign, like Gurudev always mentions, to sign the contract. Yes, I want to surrender. I want to follow this path. This I will do for this lifetime. And I will, it doesn't matter if something is easy or not easy, I will not give up. I will sit in the plane and I will fly to Vrindavan. <laughs> that is the determination that is needed. And then Shiguru, when and they feel that this is really the fixed desire of any student, they will give the strength for that. That means they will empower, they will support. And they will give everything what is needed. Sometimes there is a desire and then sometimes there is our ability. Some Our desires are always high. I want to be in Vrindavan. I want to live in Vrindavan. I want to serve my Guru. But sometimes the ability is not there. Oh, I have no money. I have to work. I have a family. But Sri Guru when the desire is very strong, will give all that is needed to have the strength to go in this direction of our uh, development. And that is Guru Mukha Padma Vakya. The power of the Guru's words is so sweet and so all-pervading, full of determination and their bhajan, Gurudev's bhajan, that the disciple who is very, very eager to also listen more and to feel more will get the closer and closer association. And what is the meaning of close? So here, Shlananta Das Babaji or Vishwana Chakravati part is also writing first 
the guru gives the truth on Krishna. And that is the beginning stage. We have a trust that Krishna is the divine Lord. He is the cause of all causes. He is my uh, goal. I want to uh, please Krishna. I want to listen from Krishna. I want to love Krishna. Always remember Krishna and not forget. But then the Guru gives also prema and rasa. And I was I was feeling, oh, this is like uh, Sambandha, Abhideya and Prayojana in a different way. We are listening first about Krishna and we become in the mood, we get into the mood of service. We want to serve or we, we listen about Bhagavad Gita and the devotion of Arjuna. I want to be a servant also. Oh, what can, how can I serve? And then uh, we are maybe together with some devotees and they say, yes, devotional service is book distribution. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I will distribute the books of Srila Prabhupada. Devotional service is um, prasad distribution. Yes, I will do. I will, I will distribute prasad. Oh, devotional service is singing together on the street. Oh, yes, I will do. I will sing. I will, I will sing the holy names. I will sing Maha Mantra on the street. But then later, when Guru is, is giving more deeper, intimate relationship, then, oh, we listen about Prem. Wow, there is divine love. Ah, this is, the, this is the goal of my service. This is the goal of my uh, song kirtan of my book distribution of any services that I do, I want to attain divine love. It's not Krishna is the goal. No, Srimati Radhika is Prem. She is the one who gives the Prem and is distributing the Prem. And in this Kali Yuga, they have appeared together as Lord Chaitanya. And they are, this is the Prema Avatar. We are so lucky. We have taken birth in this time. It's a difficult time because all our enemies now are not outside. They are mainly here between the ears. <laughs> and uh, it's difficult sometimes to really concentrate the mind always one-pointed on the goal. Many things are happening in families, in relationships. It's becoming difficult in Kali Yuga to live peaceful like in Satvagun even. Always there's Rajaguna and there's anger and how to be right and wow how can I really become peaceful and so if we surrender to Nittai Goanga then this will be more easy and so Gurudev is giving all these different different stages from Krishna Bhakti to Radha Bhakti and then to Prema uh, Rasa wow what Rasa Rasa is another level Rasa is when I can be their maidservant, when I aspire now to go into Manjari Bar. And my bhakti is not only on eternal level that I show everyone what is my service. No, now responsibility becomes to develop insight. And it's completely between me and Guru Manjari and Radharani. It's not that anybody can check it from the outside. It's not that I can run around with my services and show how busy I am. This is a eternal, uh, mentally practiced relationship now that is coming to another level of, of internal, um, how do you say this, uh, intimacy. To have a relation is one thing and feel that I want to be in relation. But to have an intimate relation, that is something that goes to another dimension. The intimacy means to be close. I want to really feel my Gurudev, and I want to, the words, what he is saying, I know now that he is a Dasi of Shimati Radhika, and I need to 
desire, I want, I want to desire to feel all his parakya bhav moods. And I pray that he and she will open them to me because I am very stupid and uh, ignorant. I can often only hear what is said and even not that. Now I have to really listen and I have to read between the lines. It's not only the words, but it's the feelings, even the hidden feelings, because Guru Dev is uh, speaking in hidden feelings. So we have to be trained now when Guru Dev is giving us his mercy to reveal our relationship and to feel our desires. Oh, you are this and that, Dasi, and you are serving in this and this way. Now, this is not only something theoretical. Please, please integrate it in your sadhana. Oh, no. When I chant Maha Mantra, I chant my Diksha Mantras. And this is the gift of Gurudev, giving me the feelings, not only of his feelings, but of his Gurudevi and her Gurudevi. Now I am connected to a, a disciplic succession that is not only a formality, something to belong to like an institution. No, it's a complete world of bhav. It's the feelings that are guided by Shimati Radhika down to all of those who are taking shelter in that same desire to serve her. And in our case, we are in the line of Janavama, of Nityananda. So that is uh, a great mercy that we can realize more and more, not only our external services, our external belonging, but internal belonging. To go from this uh, general sambhana, general knowledge, I am not this body, to realize internal relationships with a lot of feelings. And then the revelations go deeper and deeper and our relationship becomes more individual. Means we are feeling more and talking less. So it's awesome. Interesting in this paragraph how Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj is going from first the Krishna Bhakti to the Gopi Bhav and then to the Manjari Bhav. Because we know by listening to Gurudev, these are some steps and all are important. We don't judge any steps. We don't judge anybody on their different platforms. It's not we are running around and saying, wow. You are so ignorant. You worship Krishna. I worship Srimad Radhika. This is ignorance. This is a judgmental and very uh, beginner's uh, understanding. But we are very grateful that our Gurudev has given me these levels of understanding and how, how I can practice them. And given me her love and her intimacy. What is now intimacy? It's not only to sit close, it's to feel close. Feeling close in bhajan. We become now more researchers, researchers of emotion. Gurudev now is inspiring us like Guru Mandrari. And so our, his or her feelings, and we are now becoming observers and want to also, you know, assist our Gurudev in, in her feelings. Not only thinking, ah, oh, give me, give me, give me, but how can I assist you in your feelings? And that is something that is very, it, it needs, um, Consciousness. Always we hear about Rupa and Rati, how they are connected. 
and we will come to the next level in this uh, song. Shilanara Tamdas Thakur is speaking about this Rati to the lotus feet of Sri Gurudev. But first, also more about the words of Sri Guru. And listening to the words and feeling the words and like internalizing the words. So the words, they come not only from without, they come from within too. And every one of you have this experience. Maybe we are stuck in one place of our ability to serve. And if we just pray to Guruji, oh, help me. Or we pray to Shemate Radhika, please help me. There's some blockage. Then some words come from with me. I think all of you have more realizations about this than me. Because you are all the wonderful, my, my sisters and brothers on the way. All of you have these jewels in your heart. And sometimes when it gets a little bit dry, <clears throat> then we remember the jewels. Ah, Gordy, I'm struggling. My taste has gone. Why is my taste lost? I need your words, which are filled with intoxicating flames of devotion. Would you please share with me some of your rati, some of your intoxication in your relation? I know that I am not qualified, but I am helpless, Guru. So this helplessness makes everyone very vulnerable. Means we are sensitive. We become very sensitive for everything that is happening inside and outside. And Chiguru is waiting. And when he sees our eagerness to go deeper and deeper, her heart is also melting. Because that is the nature of Shiguru. She is so close to Shimati Radhika and to Nittai, to Ananga Mandar. She develops, has developed all these qualities of compassion and mercy. And when one little bird is very thirsty, this Chattaka bird that we have always listened about in Shimati Bhagavatam. They will not drink any old water from any old place. They will only drink from the rain of the clouds that are sprinkling their mercy fresh. So when I have this feeling, sprinkling, waiting for the sprinklings of Shiguru's lotus mouth, then Shiguru can feel it and she will give. She will give what the heart is, is needing to get more strength to go inside and from sadhana into bhajan, into some deeper, deeper feelings in the relationship and some deeper services which are based on feeling. And Shilanara Tomdas Thakur says, those who are yearning to attain Sri Krishna, keep these powerful words of Sri Guru within the heart and renounce all other aspirations. So sometimes we think, now why he is saying Krishna and why not Shimati Radhika? Because he is speaking in a level of beginners who are just maybe starting to hear about everything, about Sri Krishna. 
Of course, Sri Krishna means Sri Radhe and Krishna. But sometimes Sri Guru will also say, Oh, my, my devotees are on this level of coming from background of Vairi Bhakti. They need a little baby food. They need to be trained more in the feelings. And then I can speak more about my Swami. Once we were in a program with Gurudev and the devotees and the guests were waiting for some Rasikata. <laughs> oh, tell us something about Radha and Mohans, Leelas and intimacy. And Gurudev was like silent. And later on we ask, why good if you did not say anything? Oh, he said, I cannot talk everywhere and to everyone about my swan. It's not something that will happen by, you know, pressing a button like on a tape recorder or on any machine and switching on and off the light of a uh, Parakya Bar. No, we are very lucky when we go to Vrindavan and there we can get this merciful distribution of these feelings. It's that Gurudev is completely guided by Srimati Radhika with all feelings and all responses. So everything that comes from Gurudev will be according to time, place, and circumstances. Because she's always in her service. And when the people are more on external identification platforms, more on the bodily platform, we will not speak about this or her Ishtadevi. But for the disciples who are very eager and who are very innocent and helpless and full of humility and stupidity. Foolish like a child, Chaitanya Charitamrita said. Ah, oh, then God will open his heart and giving the nectar of the intoxicating flavors of devotion. And nothing com can compare with this. Every one of you have realized this when they're sitting next to Gurudev and the uh, ears begin to drink. Drinking this intoxicated flavors and becoming inspired, becoming enlightened, becoming absorbed in my Dasi bar. I need these, you know, high beverage, intoxicating drinks of, in my ears. I need a high dose. <laughs> and then you know how it goes. The more you drink with your ears, the more you want to always drink. It's not that it stops. No, you want to continue. If you have become now, it's, a, it's the wine, it becomes divine, and now you become crazy for the honey wine. <laughs> that is uh, the miracle that happens in the association of Shri Guru and the power to give us strength in our bhakti. Where, on whatever stage we are, Guru will give the power to go the next step and the next and the next and waiting and watching and feeling. And when the, the relationship becomes very intimate and very uh, intense, or Gurudev sometimes uses the word condense feelings. 
then we are lucky. Then the revelations start growing from within. Because now, Guru Devi and Sri Radhika are sitting, are sitting in my heart, in my manjari, small, helpless, eager heart, and giving guidance. They have become my Paramatmana. And that happens when the Sri Guru Chara Ne Rati has happened. Now in this rati, divine, lusty, greedy, unstopping desire come, then our heart becomes colored by the color of the rati of our guru day. The heart of the sadaka becomes filled with feelings for Shiguru, and I would add of Shigun. So, and this is called Utama. They say Utama Gatti. And sometimes we may ask, why? Is this now the highest goal that Shri Guru Charane Rati? Gurudev says, Guru is only navigator. Is it not that when I reach the goal, then the navigation is done? No, no, no. Shri Guru will continue. to instruct and to give us more and more possibilities to serve by hints of their eyes, by need of the situation. And this rati is helping also Shri Guru to completely put the mark of Radha Dasi Bhav, of Manjari Bhav, into our heart. It's, the, it's like mixing the colors of love. Before my heart is colored in all different kinds of desires, right? I want to make this person happy and that person happy. I want to have a car, I want to have security, I want to, whatever the desires are that we have as human beings. But now the desires for bhajan and connection in rapti, in eagerness, have come to such a high level, maybe we can call it bhav. They are the symptoms of that that are described that the time, 
Nobody wants to waste time anymore. My time is precious. Don't lose my time. Let me always connect. This is the Bhajan Kriya. Always connect everything that is happening during the day with my service to Shibudu. Let me always remember Shimakaratka and her feelings. And let me do everything with everyone in the day and even in my dreams, if possible, in this moon of loving, surrender, and intimate relationship. And when devotees have Reach that level, then Gurudev always says, everyone will be like a bee, uh, greedy for the honey of, of that devotee's uh, words or, or association and bhajans, because we feel, wow, there's some treasure of, uh, you know, some treasure that will attract and also enliven my bhakti, and it will be. It will be, uh, you know, I want to taste that also. And that is because the, the devotee who has reached such a rati, such a high quality of attachment to Shiguru, can also give this to others now. And that's what Gurudev is also likes. Gurudev likes when we become rati. You know, when we have rati, when we come to this level of deep, deep, deep eagerness, not only externally, it's something more internally now. Of course, it's nice to go to Vrindavan and to always be in close association. That is also good. But if I leave Vrindavan, is Vrindavan still with me? That is also a test. It's also... And then when such a devotee with high love, high rati, then wherever they go, it will be Vrindavan because they are always connected to Sri Guru and intoxicated by the paths that are flowing from heart to heart. Now it's heart.com. And so why is it the goal? Because we will get Nikunja Seva. That is what uh, Ananda Das Babaji Maharaj is saying. And Srila Thakur Mahashoy. Srila Naratam Das Thakur. And so here is one sentence that I find very inspiring from Srila Ananda Das Babaji. So Hence, Srila Thakur Mahashai shows that love for Shiguru's feet and the ultimate goal are one and the same, and that love for Shiguru's feet is the only supreme means and goal. When Shiguru Dev is pleased, all aspirations of the sadhaka are fulfilled. And that means we become one-pointed, we are fixed, we are in Stai Bar, and we can feel Guru Devi, Shri Guru Manjari. It's the same because I think mostly all of you have taken the Diksha Mantra. So on the one side, we have all the mantras for Navadvip, for Gauranga Mahaprabhu and all. Nityananda and uh, Kadadha, Shivas, Atveta Jaya. And then we go to the other page, and that is uh, Shirindavan mantras. And there we start with Guru Mantra. And then when Guru Mantra is giving blessings, then the meanings and the depth of the Come, Gayatri, this is revealed in our Dasi hearts. And when this happens, 
then newer and newer realizations come. This is what uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu calls Anandam Bodhivadana. This is every step is like full of Ananda. It's not that it's going like continuously always in one direction. Sometimes we fall back. Sometimes we had a taste and then again we lose it because the modes are coming. And then again I try to, you know, be more fixed, be more one-pointed, be more uh, eager. So we are in the in the case in the and it says also, good, it was giving me this one page of Vilapakus Mandali some weeks ago, where Ananta Das Babaji is also explaining. In our sadhana, there is first a level that we are mixing our bodily consciousness with our dasi bath. It happens again and again. But then comes the next level where we are more fixed and it will not happen so much. And we become more. Uh, able to drink the intoxicating flavors of devotion to our ears. And then at one stage we will be fixed. And we can feel our Acharya's words. Like Srila Narayan Maharaj, he always used to say, you have to mix your heart with the words and with the hearts of our achayas. So that is a, it sounds very nice, but the heart has to be, be to, to mix, I mean, to receive. Like we always know this example of any bowl that when the rain falls, it has to be up. When the mercy falls, it has to be able to receive. And if my consciousness is more down and I cannot receive the rain of mercy. But when Shiguru Dev is pleased, then even if I am like an upside down bowl in my consciousness, again, it, Guru Dev can help to come up. It's never any loss in any stage where we are. If we are in a stage of, you know, tarala, these waves, or if I'm very down and I'm fully uh, only in my head, and I think I know it all, that's also a very big illusion. But dasi means I become helpless. I always want to drink. And my eyes always like to, to look. Where is the... the Honey wine. Where's the divine honey wine? Where do I feel the emotions of my dear brothers and sisters who are also trying to drink the nectar of devotion and fill their hearts with these feelings? And that is happening when we all together develop this Chi Guru Charane Rati. The lotus feet. And what are the lotus feet standing for? They are standing for these flavors, the emotions. The emotions are flowing through the feet, through the little dasis, desperance. And Sri Guru is very eager always to give. Because why? Because they are very close with Srimati Radhika. They have a, uh, you say, local call. <laughs> they are not long distant, long distant. And Srimati Radhika is guiding them. And the more that um, I can also connect to Shikuru in this way, and the more the mercy will come through. And sometimes the mercy is also a kick. As we know from Sri Vilap Kushmanjali, Tulasi Manjari was also kicked. And what did she do? 
she was crying and Lalita Devi was helping her. And another time she was looking at the kick and she was marked with the red footprint of Shimati Radhika. And she was running around. Look, I'm now a marked maid servant. Look, Shimati Radhika was kicking me. Well, that means she has really accepted me as a Nazi. She is really now showing me that I am hers and I I always say to her, you are mine. I, you can use me as you like. So that was the second paragraph of Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya. And she, Guru Charane Dati, Ese Uttamagati, Ye Prasadi Puri, Sarva Ash. That is the Prashadam. Prashad of Sri Guru Manjari is always the Prashad of Sri Radhika. Because all the gopis, they, they are getting mercy from Shimati Radhika in form of prashadi blouses, prashadi necklaces. And, they, and one who has gotten a lot of prashad, they like to distribute it, right? <laughs> because sometimes my plate is so full that I want to distribute it. Can you take? Oh, you're my best friend. Take more. And so also... Guru Manjari has her plate and her uh, clothes are full of, you know, she has many clothes from Srimati Radhika, so she likes to give also some Mahaprasad, some petticoats, some blouse. She gives sometimes some uh, prasad in the form of bitter leaves. All different kind of prasad are coming. So that was what I was trying to share with you today. Are there any, uh, can you please also inspire me with some of your nectar? <laughs> I'm always eager also to listen from you and anything you feel inspired to share on this beautiful, beautiful subject of Sri Guru Charani Rati. Rati, Rati. <laughs> hey, Rati. You wonderfully describe this guidance from Guru Devi to us. So really beautiful. Thank you. And yes, very touching for me. And I was thinking about, I'm not sure, that Gurudev said that we first get Ishtanishta and then Guru Nishta. Yeah, okay. I was not sure. And can we then say that Guru is guiding us to Ishtanishta and then, yeah, then through this process, we uh, get this Guru Nishta. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's first Guru Nishta. Ah. Mm. Mm. Because Guru Dev is coming and helping us. And like usually Guru Dev will help us to get the, the, the face in, in Krishna. Because like Bhagavad Gita says, we have to assign with Krishna. We have to first, like Srila Prabhupada, usually give first Krishna consciousness. But if we are lucky and we have, you know, Gurudev uh, in the beginning of our bhakti, he will give us immediately Radha, Radha Nishta. But then, of course, this is a general Nishta on Radharani's glories and how we all enter into her service and Krishna is her beloved. So we get this kind of consciousness that maybe was before in a different way guided more on Krishna and not so much on Srimadhi Radhika. 
and also like Chaitanya, not understanding Chaitanya from the side of um, Shrimati Radhika's bar. So Guru Nishta is the backbone of Bhakti that we have heard many times. And the first steps in Bhakti are always Guru Padashraya, to take shelter in the lotus feet of Shiguru, to have some faith. Mm -hmm. And then Guru gave some Ishtanishta. And then when we have Ishtanishta, full faith that I want to be Shimati Radhika's maid servant, then also we get Swarupnishta. We get the full faith that uh, I am a Darcy and I have a spiritual body and Shri has revealed it to me and I want to more and more become purified and by my crying and begging for mercy, get some revelations, get some feelings of connection and feelings of um, belonging. No? This, you are mine and I am yours. That uh, the, the relationship is fixed by Gurde. And then I want to, of course, develop the relationship by coming closer. So I think this is the order. First, the Guru Nishta, the full face in Guru, and then the Ishta Nishta. It's first, mainly it's first Krishna, and then from Krishna we, we go to Srimati Radhika, and then into her Dasi bar, in the Manjari bar. And then when we develop this further, we go into Swarup Nishta, and that is the Stai bar, and that also is a process. That is a development to get the uh, feelings. What is actually Staipa? I think it is like this. Anybody can comment and help us out here? <laughs> Thank you. Gurudev, are you there? I think maybe Gurudev is still sleeping. But that's a very beautiful uh, question, Raja. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Gurudev. I'm here, but you are telling so nicely that I'm very much radishing. <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Radhe, right? Everyone, I'm telling. So, Gurudev, is it right that we go first to Guru Nishta and then Ishta Nishta and then Swarup Nishta? Yeah. That was right. Well, should we see Guru? Nah? Yes. But Guru means uh, we show the Ishta there. If we see himself, then he's a he's an impersonal guru. Personal guru always show to Isra means Radha more. Then his realization become very strong, and when he can see the uh, is to the then when the exchanges start happening with Ista and the living soul, then Guru Nista is born. But Guru Nista first faith happening, doubtful faith is not full. When the sorrow comes, when that they are sharing and talking, then Guru Nishta is happening. Take time. Guru faith is that. Faith in Guru there. 
doubtful faith. Faith is doubtful. I will listen, not listen. I will do, not do. He is right or not right. But when the Ishtar relation comes, doubtfulness is finished. Then we don't want to leave a moment. And then spiritual life starts. And then how is coming Raga and Raga? All the states start flowing. People say Anartha Nivarti. Anartha will never never. You cannot free from Anartha. If you are not in Bhajan Kriya. Bhajan and Kriya both have to be one way. The moment you are doing Bhajan, your thinking has to be in Bhajan. In Radha You are thinking something else and chanting is not meaning. Kriya. Kriya means your thinking and activities. That is Kriya. Bhajan, chanting and your thinking. Both has to be in what flow. That is Bhajan Kriya. Anartha will why how, how it can enter. Anartha cannot enter inside. And the bhajan and kriya both will remove all the anartha I do mistake in, in my life. Oh, yes, kriya. But at one time chanting can do all the anartha. Mahaprabhu said, but why not this happening? Because pure chanting is not there. Pure purity of name, remembering, means all thinking and doing at the same time. One point is. Uh, yeah. Yes, now you say, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The Madhuri is happy, and uh, we are all of I'm course. Happy. All are smiling. <laughs> yes. My, my mom is also smiling. Last, last. Down. Now comes one nice, beautiful song. And um, I would like to sing this together with you. It's a, it's a song of uh, Shilanara Tom Dastakur, where he is explaining also developments of the desire to, to be in Vrindavan. And he's singing about the peacock's dance, the cuckoos sing and the bees are buzzing. And first he mentions that Krishna is moving into the grove cottage. And I was thinking, wow, where's Shimati Radhika? <laughs> and then again, he comes back to his sadaka consciousness and he is praying, oh, Hari Hari. When will my desires be fulfilled? When will I have great fun in seeing their slow paces, other than slow walking in the forest, and thus get goosebumps of ecstasy all over my body? So he's praying first to see Vrindavan and to see Radha and Mohan walking in Vrindavan. 
And now comes his uh, revealing of his bhav. Then he says, while we are surrounded by sakis, Radhika gives me a hint, an indication to take a comb into my hand. So now we see that Shimati Radhika is there, the sakis are there, and she is the manjari. And Radhika is looking at her and giving her a hint with the eyes. And she understands now that she should take a comb. And with that comb, she will comb Krishna's curly locks and make a wonderful braid. So that is an amazing thing. Why would the mandri comb Krishna's hair? into a braid. And not only that, she will anoint Radha Mohan's bodies with mask and sandal and put a necklace around their necks. She will put tilak and look at their moon-like faces. And she will dress them in blue garments and wash the lotus feet with water from a pitcher and wipe them with my own hair. And here also there is one um, mark that why she is dressing and combing Krishna with braids, that she is preparing now by the desire of Srimati Radhika and Leela, where Krishna takes a reverse role. Krishna becomes a gopi. And that is called Viparita Vilas, reverse pastimes on Sri Radhika's order. Very beautiful, Lila. And uh, I will just sing it together with you. And we are praying for the lotus dust of Shilani. Narottam Dastakus meditations and mix his heart with our heart and pray that also something, some dust particles come.
So all glory is to Srila Narottam Nastako. I'm leaving behind all these beautiful prayers and treasures of her heart and how to go into deeper and deeper raga bhakti, rupa nuga bhakti, how to Feel the feelings of our Acharyas, of our Sri Guru Dev. So, any more sharings here in this regard? Oh, I forgot one, two verses here. It's such a long song. He says, I will make a bed of lotus petals and make them recline on it. Then I will bring a white duck tail fan and softly fan them, soothing their beautiful bodies. Oh, Lokanath, my guru, you are an ocean of mercy and the friend of the fallen. 
please hear me. Radha, Mohan, Rindavan, all the Priya Nama Sakthis, Nagasastha Manjaris, this is the gift Naratam asks for. So if you are all happy and satisfied with your thirsty hearts and your hungry ears, then we will maybe now have a little pause until the next nectar lesson of Kirtan. Sharing will start with our dear Sri Dabaya. <laughs> 